Well, my name's Chris Sarver, and we bought El Hannon Vineyard in 2008. And this is a 30-year-old Pinot Gris, Pinot Noir vineyard. And uh, we, I've had a brew pub in Michigan for 20 years. So I wanted to make some wine, and here I am. I think that making beer is more production-oriented, and making wine is, is a lot more creative aspects to it. So I did it for the, for the challenge. I think the creative bit of, of making wine is the grape growing is different every year, especially in Oregon. And besides being new, because there's a lot, there's a lot, seems like a, a lot bigger toolbox for the winemaker than the beer maker. One of the biggest wineries in Michigan, Chateau Grand Traverse, the, the winemaker, the, the head guy there, told me if he could make wine anywhere in the world, he'd go to the Umpqua Valley. Because you can make every type of wine. They grow every grape in there. So we looked there and we ended up outside of Eugene <laughs> in the Willamette Valley. Eugene's climate is so, it's a little cold. It's very rainy, but it, it grows good Pinot. Pinot Gris and Pinot Noir. They just seem to ripen right at the end, the last week. It's down to the last week every year I've been here. And that in itself just lends itself to the Pinot Noir grapes. The moisture in the ground comes out just at the right time. The vines start to stress in uh, the end of the growing season, just naturally because of the, the type of soil a lot of clay that's been saturated all winter and spring. Yeah, the, the tasting room aspect is the marketing end. After you make it, grow it, you have to sell it. This was already planted. This is an 84, 85 planting. So I knew I didn't want to start from scratch. This was already growing. It's a nice, healthy vineyard and uh, it's got some unique aspects to it and it worked out nice. We, we bought the location primarily based on proximity to a wine trail. The best thing about being a winemaker to me is the growing of the grapes and getting out in the field. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this till I pretty much, I don't know, I might get bored. <laughs> I, but yeah, planning on doing it for a while.